Welcome to the Hypothetically Podcast with Nikki Downtown and Fat Nate. We provide thoughtful and correct answers to probably the most important questions in the world. I'm a New York City-based comedian. Nathan is a New York City-based dyslexic. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you enjoy the show. So we have conflict with Russia, right? People are itching to have like a Cold War, sort of like a space race with Russia. You know that picture of Putin shirtless on a horse? We're like, we got to beat that. And that's the new Cold War. It's like shirtless pictures of leaders. I'm thinking Nancy Pelosi. On Ted Cruz. Na- yep. Nancy Pelosi <laughs> tits out, showing how much money she's making from the stock market. Writing Ted Cruz. Writing Ted Cruz's face. Yeah. Be- and beard Ted Cruz. Not not. Oh, lame. yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern Ted. Then like- Russia comes back with Putin shirtless writing nancy pelosi we're like wait how did that what <laughs> oh i thought we we're gonna like it was gonna be there's for some reason it was gonna be like a game of chicken where you have like putin on a bear and nancy pelosi on ted cruz and nancy pelosi and putin try to push each other off it's, it's just pictures you just post pictures um we counter with three russian guys in sweatsuits all on top of each other like in a stack are they I imagine them just standing completely straight, <laughs> shoulder like yeah, feet yeah, on shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of those guys. They're three stories tall. Yeah, and they're not. It's like they don't even notice that they're getting a photo taken. This is like how they would have been had there not been a camera. What's your counter? <laughs> I feel like I just keep thinking of like artsy stuff. So it's Dan Crenshaw <laughs> flipping up, <laughs> flipping up the thing, and it's money. <laughs> it's dollar bills, baby. <laughs> it's very um, we're because we're we're like capitalism. <laughs> Ours is just an old Russian woman smoking a cigarette. It's not even competitive anymore. No, no, it's, it's just, just like <laughs> some are just getting artistic. Yeah, yeah just, but she's taking a really deep inhale. I don't. I don't think you've heightened. I think <laughs> de sell. I think you've de. You're, the you're, Cold War is even colder. It's a. It's it's chess, Nicholas. So you know how like in the Hunger Games, Katniss is wearing that like wedding dress, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "Boo!" They don't like the wedding dress, mm-hmm. but then she spins around and it catches on fire, and then it's like a crow dress. Mm-hmm. Do you think it would help Biden's approval rating if he did that? <laughs> like Biden's approval rating is really low, <laughs> and, he spins and he comes out in a suit. wedding dress, <laughs> and they're like. We don't like this. We don't like President Biden wearing a wedding dress and inflation's bad. But then he spins and he's the mocking Jay. Oh, I was hoping it or was just g- in a regular suit. I was, I was hoping he was going to come out in a regular suit and people were going to be complaining about inflation and gas prices. And then he was going to do a twirl and he was in a crow dress. <laughs> <laughs> the mocking Jay. Ah! And they're like, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. That should have been what, uh, remember everybody was mad at Obama for wearing that tan suit? That's what he should have done. He <laughs> spins around. Did people at Obama for wearing a tan suit? He wore a tan suit, suit or got all mad. He should have worn the tan suit and like waited so he got all pissed. And then he spins and it's just like a normal suit. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if he spins and it's a tanner suit? Like it's, it's lighter. It just gets even tanner. <laughs> yeah. He's like, if you do not listen to me, I will spin again. <laughs> and he's wearing like Sperry's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spins again it's khaki his, board shorts yeah like it's like f- it's like pink yeah. like sort of peach colored board shorts his tie burns off into a bow tie <laughs> yeah somehow with glasses no but i really like the idea of biden to to win back a larger part of his constituency being the mocking jay people think he's about to have like a gaff or that he starts spinning and they're like oh no he's having a senior moment and then he ah! why don't they do more crazy shit with the president like what like have biden like fly in on a jetpack why just why would he do that what would i mean what do you think it would i think it would help with what his approval rating how i don't know if i like biden's policies but i mean you see how he handled himself and on the jetpack <laughs> very he, presidential i don't think he would handle it i think his legs and arms were <laughs> doing that shit as he came down and they were like two yeah two secret service guys like grabbing both of his legs and like velcroing them to the floor what if like <laughs> i feel like if one president does fly in someplace on a jet because they have jetpacks now so i feel like as soon as the first president flies in someplace on a jetpack like that's a that's a precedent if you don't fly in on a jetpack you're weak on crime <laughs> <laughs> that's what it means yeah they're like so you can't fly in on a jetpack wait, wait so is it a hand jetpack it the, the real ones are like the the thrusters are in your hands Oh my god, that'd be so cool. He does the uh he puts his hand on the Bible, does the thing, and then jetpack like blows out the Bible beneath him because he flies up. Yeah, because he's American. He's a badass. He will fuck about the Bible. No, Americans do give a fuck about the Bible. Not 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 this president. You're thinking of you're thinking of Israel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't care as much yeah, about the Bible. Right. Yeah, the Israeli president The Israeli president should jetpack. swear on the Bible yeah, and, and then jetpack, jetpack off of it. Yeah. You know like how we won the space race yeah why don't we leave any pranks up there (laughs) 
That's what they don't tell you. There's a flag, but right next to the flag is a whoopee cushion in case they try to take out the flag. There's not even sound in space. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just, uh, no, I don't think there's air in space either. They just step on this flat bag. <laughs> they didn't think about it. Maybe NASA invented whoopee cushions that worked in space. Took them 20 years for this exact thing. Or you know would be great is if they left like a quarter, but they glued it to the moon. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so that would be like, amazing. Oh, yeah, cool space quarter. And <laughs> they can't get it. They put a bunch of fake rocks there so that when they try to take moon rocks and bring it back to Earth. They're just regular rocks. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah, are just regular yeah. rocks. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, like, you're fucking with me, right? Yeah, they're, dude, they're painted white. They wipe off like the, the moon dust we put on it. It's just a middle finger. Yeah, it's just Biden. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> You know how there's like all the, they find pedophiles in the Boy Scouts? Mm -hmm. They're like, all right, mandatory teach a class on how to not get raped by your, (laughs) when there is a pedophile scoutmaster, this is what you do. And then the scoutmaster's like, okay, so let's like run drills. (laughs) Let's practice a little bit. I'm going to start. So what do you do? I'm going to, I'm just (laughs) going to simulate. Yeah. I'm going to simulate and now you simulate. (laughs) But if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay. If you're nervous and you just want to not do anything, that's fine. (laughs) It sucks because they do that, and then they teach them. Then they give them the pocket knives afterwards. Right. They're like, "This want to help with the last." One. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you no, might no, not no, have no. them on hand, so you got to practice. Yeah, you, you got to prepare for the worst case scenario. And they're like, <laughs> and then they're doing simulations. Like, look, there's sometimes there's nothing you can do, so you just gotta, you just gotta go with it. <laughs> yeah. Let's run that. All right. How if you had to just go with it? Yeah, shut up. If you had to just go with it. All right. You know, I don't like that. I keep playing the rapist. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna do it again, but I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the uh, boy scout. Who's gonna be the rapist? No one. I'll, I'll just be the boy scout. <laughs> and you'll just infer all of it from my scene work. Okay. I <laughs> just... Uh, 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 I learned a lot. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> you should cut that. <laughs> this episode's really nasty. <laughs> God. We're just boys being boys. You should... When boys get together, they talk about men fucking boys. <laughs> Go on Shark Tank, and so this is what you're offering. It's... $200,000 for a 10% stake in your body. You get to pick the 10%, but you're selling 10% of your body on Shark Tank for $200,000. Go. Well, this is a really great opportunity to I'll, talk I'll, about man thighs. I'd be like, sharks. <laughs> Have you heard about man thighs? Man thighs. You're not gay. <laughs> you can take off the hair with your mind. Lori's not liking where this pitch is going. You got to you gotta win back Lori. Keep going. If I wanted to pitch to Lori, I would just rotate the thing. <laughs> I'd just be like, Lori... <laughs> Lori, Lori is spinning. Lori, <laughs> yeah. Now you're losing, Mister Wonderful. What I would do, I would offer the man thighs, and I would be like, well, "Do you guys want a demonstration?" And they'd go, "Yes, of course." And I'd be like, "Smell it." <laughs> Mark Cuban is asking for samples. Yeah. Do you have man thighs to give him? <laughs> he asked if he can keep it. <laughs> can I have one of those? <laughs> yeah. I only have two. Well, can, I just want one. Yeah. I just want one though. And now he's asking for sales. I'd be like, "We have a lot of pre-orders and a patent pending." <laughs> I'm patenting on what man th- thighs. And I'll be Mark Cuban. What the thigh? Man thighs. There's a lot of different man thighs out there. I'm positive I've seen this product already. What distinguishes your man thighs from other man thighs? Leg hair. Leg hair? I have a secret formula of leg hair that makes my man thighs perfect. It, wait, so are you patenting the man thigh or the leg hair? The man thigh. With, with the leg hair. Specific amount of leg hair. And what about it makes it perfect? The uh, leg hairs come off much more easily, so they get in your teeth. Do we have a deal? <laughs> I feel like actually thighs isn't good. What, what would you sell? Oh, my feet. Like you'd sell use of your feet? It'd be a subscription service. Fast feet as a service. Feet as a service. Yeah, yeah it'd, be, it'd be a fast product. It's getting really popular now. And I would have microtransactions. You could cool. customize the feet? Yeah, you customize the feet. Paint the nail, nails. Polish, <laughs> nail polish and shit. Accessories. I wear socks. Well, what if I actually sold like just my finger? I will come into your house and I'll put a screen up. It's like a glory hole with just my finger. Finger goes through 15 minutes and I'll do this if you want. I will try as hard as I can to not smell it after I pull back out, but it will be tough. I feel like they're going to want you to smell it. You know how some people are like into being dominated sexually and they like pay for that? Mm. What if there's somebody who really was into like very, very, very mild dominatrixes, like very mild, like they come over and all they do is they just stand in front of you and they just go like this. That's the whole thing. And you just sit there like, fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. They're like, could you please sit down? They're like, oh my God. God. Like you're sitting there and you start to t- like touch yourself and they're like, stop. And you're like, <laughs> sorry about that. I feel like the amount of people that would say they're dominatrixes would be 
like a lot more it'd be annoying because there'd be real dominatrixes out there you know trying to like really whipping men down and there'd be fucking and phonies people would have a whole different barometer you'd some dominatrix would come in and like whip you and you're like what the <laughs> fuck was that i wanted you to tell me no yeah what fingers <laughs> let's start with the finger yeah you want a dominatrix the woman comes in and you're like dressed in like a horse outfit like take me and she's like um, <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the the finger wags out. All right, what if? And this is about you personally. Yeah. What if when people saw you shirtless, mm -hmm. they no longer believed in God? <laughs> like every time you're at the pool and you take off the shirt, they're like, "Oh, are they gonna? Oh, my grandpa is really dead, for real, <laughs> dead, and I'll never see him again." Is me in a water shirt gonna keep their belief in they're, God? They're agnostic. <laughs> yeah, they're they just, see that and they're like. No, I don't know. I would go to Baptist churches and try to get baptized. You know those like holy roller churches where yeah, they get possessed. Yeah. Everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, 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 and then you take off your shirt and they're like, oh, 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 boy, yeah, jeez. Why? Well, I feel silly. <laughs> I mean, not. I mean, there's no holy. Look at that. They'd see your psoriasis. They'd be like, there's no god. I would go to gay communities and I'm like, I can get rid of the Baptist for you, so you don't got to worry about the hate crimes. You'd be at the front of the gay pride parade just to make sure everybody was cool. <laughs> yeah. Someone runs out like screaming profanities, and they get right in the, like they just join yeah. the parade. Yeah, they're like, you know what? I'm gay. Yeah. Yeah. That, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> twist. They don't believe in God <laughs> and they're gay. Well, they're closeted. You know those movies like Fifty First Dates where someone loses their memory every single day, or like The Notebook. What if it was? like they're gay and they just come out to you every day like you forget damn that would <laughs> they to, they like in the morning they're like they, they wake up and they're like who am i and you know what i think i might be gay <laughs> and by like lunch they're like nathan i need to talk to you and you're like okay and they're like you know what dude, let's do it later let's I, do it later. i'm really <laughs> they're worried. Like working up the courage all day every day <laughs> dude i'm worried in the morning and just be like okay man you're gay and he's gonna be devastated because he just really wasn't well and, and then he's like in the closet he's like no i'm not no no yeah <laughs> i'm not ready for this <laughs> this is too much and then he's just and then by like 7 p.m he's like can i talk to you <laughs> about what you said earlier yeah. and you're like yes <laughs> <sighs> it'd be called groundhogs gay what was the question again when you take off your shirt people don't believe in god anymore if you ever had to go to the hospital and everybody's dying around you mm -hmm. and they're like well at least i have the lord and oh then you come out why would i do that clearly i wouldn't you're go in a to hospital a gown <laughs> <laughs> they no, see sure. my bare ass do they believe in god way more they go from like a regular believer to like, like no they're baptist Ju jewish jewish ass is jewish ass is jewish atheist is chest ass is jewish yeah, muslim ass. is your balls what do you see all what if you're what if you see all of it you're one of those people that thinks like every religion is true it's just we're looking at it from different perspectives but only when you because they need to see your ass only when you're on qvc and you spin <laughs> people are just like why are we fighting <laughs> it's all love I think if I went on Shark Tank and they were like, what are you selling? And then I said religion and then I showed them my bare ass. I don't think I would get any money. Because even if I turned you Jewish, I don't think you would realize you were Jewish immediately. <laughs> would you? <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> how quickly if you were turned Jewish, would you be like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, how do you feel about Jesus? And like, well, not great, but I mean, he was important. He was a prophet. Yeah, I guess. What if like kind of an alternative situation what if you could get on shark tank and you're whole, you're just an evangelical christian who's just trying to convert the sharks but you do it as like a pitch you're like sharks i have an exciting new opportunity for you heaven <laughs> and you're like how much do you want for this five saved souls yeah. <laughs> And you're giving out samples. It's like the baptism. What you're trying to <laughs> baptize them? You want a sample? They're like, no. Come on. <laughs> just, just them. Yeah. Do you think that's how the like? If we did the crusades now, that's how we do it. We'd spritz people with uh, like holy wine. Be like, you're Christian now. Can't take it back. Mm -hmm. You know, what'd be funny. Yeah. Is if you had a cat and you kept baptizing your cat by spritzing when they're bad. <laughs> just as a fun thing to do with your pet. You're going to heaven. <laughs> Get off the counter, Mister Legs. <laughs> okay, my question. What if there was Jesus? Just what like, if there was a Sunday school? teacher who played the guitar for the kids whose name was mr legs would you call the police what if <laughs> just at the name mr legs <laughs> yeah i would and alternatively what if you went to a, a psychiatrist to get diagnosed with adhd you find out mr legs is married <laughs> but his wife didn't take his name is there a mrs legs you know jared 
from Subway. Isn't it funny that he's still known as Jared from Subway and <laughs> yeah. not Jared the pedophile? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. They're like, you know Jared from Subway? Who the pedophile, right? Y- yes. Yeah. That, that Jared from yeah, Subway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not the other Jared. <laughs> what if you found out it was the Subway sandwiches that made him a pedophile? And lost the weight. And lost the weight. It did both. He's got those big pants out mm-hmm. and he pulls them up and there's two kids in there. <laughs> yeah. People start going to Subway ordering the 12 inch, but then they like the six inch. <laughs> More. And then they go to the kids meal. <laughs> <laughs> the kids meal at Subway is really yeah, popular. Yeah. You were digging and you found some email from like an executive talking about how the study finished and how like, yeah, we now know that. Yeah, it turns out the sandwiches correlate. at this incredible price, <laughs> people just can't handle it. They just, it's so decadent that they molest children. Yeah, it's like how billionaires get so rich, they just want to mm-hmm. fuck It's like that. This, the sandwich, it's yeah, such yeah. a good deal. Mm-hmm. They're like, I, mm-hmm. I'm a monster yeah. now. Epstein just got it catered. Like that's how that whole yeah, island. The, yeah, the yeah. island was just, just a big Subway. They find Jerry from subway's diaries and he's like what's happening to me <laughs> they can make a hallmark movie why lifetime? a hallmark movie? life lifetime it's like a lifetime movie my bad a hallmark movie he fucks his first kid <laughs> on christmas eve <laughs> <laughs> it was actually santa claus the whole time you know what'd be fun is mm-hmm. if you had a kid when you tell him about santa you could give santa a really fucked up backstory <laughs> Jesus Christ. and then he's gonna tell the other kid like you know I was, why santa became santa right and they're like no and he's like killed santa's parents in front of him <laughs> With toys. <laughs> With toys. And now he gives those same toys to all the kids so that they can defend themselves. Santa's sad backstory is that his parents abused him, but they slipped on like a toy car and then died. And so he goes around the world giving every kid toys so that way their parents might accidentally die. <laughs> Why does he place them under the Christmas tree? So they're harder for the parents to see. When he eats their milk and cookies, it's a threat. <laughs> you think Santa ever goes to a house and he sees milk and cookies left out and he starts eating it and then he realizes that this is just milk and cookies that the family was eating <laughs> and just put in the <laughs> just put in the sink? <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> well, that, oh. I'm a pig. <laughs> Do you imagine if you walked downstairs on Christmas Eve and you like smelt cookies were getting made and you walk downstairs and you see Santa Claus and he's making cookies and just like angry angry and being a piece of shit about it. So you guys didn't leave this for me. It's like the one thing you have to fucking yeah, do. Yeah, Santa has really severe OCD. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm not leaving till I have milk and cookies. Yeah, yeah. And then I have to spin in 10 circles and straighten yeah, all, turn the off all the lights on and <laughs> off. Turn off all the, all the lights on the tree off and on. <laughs> <laughs> 10 times. And the milk, it's like our grandma's house where the milk has gone bad and he's like, I gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go to the roof because you're hearing noises and you hear Santa Claus counting the reindeer about <laughs> five times. That's why I didn't like Rudolph because Rudolph added one more he's yeah. like what the f- yeah. no it's dancer prancer comic <laughs> <laughs> fuck what was your question it was what what if subway sandwiches made people pedophiles Jeez. that's why they give the cookies in subway they have the cookies mm-hmm. see so for the kids jesus you eat the sandwich to give you the energy i thought you would- and then the cookies to lure the kids but what are you gonna do uh, you you as nick what were you gonna do i like subway what are you gonna what would you do knowing that i'm that you're a pedophile no i'm coming or one. becoming a pedophile yeah, uh, dr pre- jekyll and mr yeah, yeah, it's fucks a- kids <laughs> Jesus. No, it would help me with the podcast. <laughs> because, see, no, see, like, you would have to go around to all the neighbors and, and tell them you're a pedophile anyway. And, then, and I would have you just pitch the pod. <laughs> You'd be like, hi, I'm Nathan. I'm Dude, on I'm this really... list. And also, every Monday and Wednesday, hypothetically. I feel like people are going to be like, wait, is the, is the podcast about you being a pedophile? And you'd be like, no, no, it's not even real at all yeah, related. Well, why'd you bring it up right after you told me you were a pedophile then? That, what if that's a marketing, an amazing marketing spread? <laughs> you knock on the door. Hi, I'm Nathan. I am I'm legally. A sex offender. I'm legally required to go around telling everyone I'm a sex offender. They're like, oh my God, you're like, just kidding. But every Monday and Wednesday, new episodes of Hypothetically. Ah! Don't you want to know what it is? They just close the door. Yeah. <laughs> but you've already snuck a flyer yeah. in there. Yeah, exactly. And we hire actual sex offenders to do it. That's great. Yeah, they're, that's they're, a really good market. Yeah, yeah, they're prepared for the role. Every single house they go to, it's like, like and then a dollar a house. But when they're about to close the door, they're like, I was, I'm not, I wasn't kidding about the sex offender thing though. And then they reopen it because now they're invested. And they're like, no, I was, but like, seriously. and then you just go back into hypothetically stuff. Or what you would do is they're like, hi, I'm a sex offender. And if you ever are concerned about my behavior, just go to www.nickhopping.com slash hypothetically. Every Monday and Wednesday, they go over what to do if I start making you uncomfortable. Yeah. Or you just like, you go around to neighborhood and you're like, there's actually a, a sex offender in our neighborhood. They just moved in. You should really go on their website and check it out so that you're, you're prepared. What's the website where I find the sex offender list? And then you go, hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> they pull it up on their phone like, this is just kind of a gross, raunchy podcast. And they're like, well, you have to listen. At, at the end, they start saying like, they announce the names. Yeah. <laughs>
why do they do the rest of it? Oh, it's just because it's a depressing list. They try to. Yeah, it's just a spice. It's fun. Yeah. It's a, it's if a you're going to read off the pedophile list, just add some jokes, add yeah. some color. Spice it up. I really like the idea of the reason why Jared always carried around those big pants was to hide two <laughs> children. <laughs> like, People are like, can I hold the pants? He's like, no, no one holds the pants. I'm like, All right. He's really proud of his weight loss. Yeah. And the pants are like, help us. And he's like, what the fuck was that? He's like, that's fat. <laughs> <laughs> that's your lack of willpower talking. He's trying to fuck us. Don't listen. Yeah. Keep going yeah, to the yeah. gym, guys. Keep eating stuff. Subway. Yeah. Don't listen to the big heavy pant and you start hitting them. <laughs> you know how people get all mad at Scarlett Johansson when she played the Asian lady in that movie? <laughs> And they're like mad at James Franco for he's going to play Fidel Castro. Mm -hmm. People are, you know how they're mad at white people for playing different race characters? What if you found out, though, they went method (laughs) for like six months before Scarlett Johansson was in Ghost in the Show or whatever the movie was? Mm -hmm. Or uh, Tom Cruise playing The Last Samurai or whatever? He was doing like this stuff. He was like (laughs) doing like an Asian accent. (laughs) Tom Cruise was like, (laughs) hello. He was like really method. He went to Japan and did that for the whole time. And then at the end of it, he's like, did you guys know I was white? (laughs) Could you even tell? Wipes off the face paint. Yeah, I get why everyone's uh, like, you guys make a lot more sense now. I thought it was like, thought it was a little silly to be upset about it. But now that I know that they're acting incredibly racist for six months to those people specifically, I'd be like, yeah, you guys were totally right. This is what if they just through sheer force of will, they just go into like a Mexican community and just keep acting Mexican (laughs) until the people are gassed slighted they're like i get i don't know maybe he's mexican i don't even care they're just, they're just so used to like yeah no it's I, like timothy chalamet being like hey I say, and they're like <laughs> All right, all right, whatever. I, I have stuff to do. I can't keep thinking about this. <laughs> I think I'd be really upset. And the only person that would get a free pass is Daniel Day-Lewis. He's the only one that could get away with it. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, this is offensive. There is a white guy clearly right there pretending to be a Mexican. And, and one of the like, Mexicans are like, like, who? Who, who, which who, one? who, who are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, which one? And they're like, is it Pablo? And like, no, clearly it's not. But it's it's <laughs> Daniel De Luis. <laughs> he's as Mexican as they come. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> What'd you do if you found this out? I would say you should not pretend to be a Mexican well, alter- for several months. Uh, well, alternatively, what if they were you were gonna get a big role in the next Marvel movie and they were like, the role is actually a Hispanic person and we need you to get in the character. We're get, we have a we have a, a flight to Mexico. You're gonna go down there and you are just gonna pretend to be a Mexican for six months. Would you do it if you got to be the next? spider-man and then you get back and they're like spider-man's not mexican (laughs) we just needed the actor to be mexican to hit diversity quotas but you're like Um, they're like they you come back and they're like yeah there are some there are some videos (laughs) that were taken of you as a mexican and you can no longer be (laughs) spider-man it was actually a big problem what if there was a character you didn't answer the question it was a yes or no. I know, but it's fun that I j- we just keep it rolling. Yeah, yeah, it's fun if we don't. I mean, we're, we say we're a podcast about answering questions, but it would be good if we like answered a question, like one of them. All right, I'm going to start a superhero comic called Sombrero Spider-Man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> There's, wait, wait. No, so, wait, no, 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 no. It's, no. It's, 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 uh, Stop. This is, no, so wait, wait, cut, wait, wait, cut, wait. no. You don't get to do Sombrero Spider-Man. <laughs> Clearly, you don't get to do that. No, it's Spider-Man no, wearing no, a sombrero. No. But also, no. you don't know who it is, but Peter Parker <laughs> also wears a sombrero. And his name is Sombrero Peter Parker. And he's like, I'm not Spider-Man. I'm not Sombrero Spider-Man. I'm Sombrero Peter yeah. Parker. Peter, we think you might be Spider-Man. Um, and- it was just regular Spider-Man two weeks ago, and then you went to that thrift shop. <laughs> 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 and you and you found that sombrero. You mean the one I look fantastic in? I don't know <laughs> and, and you demanded everyone call you sombrero Peter Parker. And now Spider Man is also wearing a similar sombrero, demanding the same thing. He's just like that's crazy. <laughs> that's- it's a cool hat. <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson's like, Sombrero Peter Parker, get me pictures of Sombrero Spider-Man! It's like Superman where he just takes off the glasses. It's like not enough. I think people would realize. Do you think if Superman ever has a hard time reading something and he just puts on glasses for a second and everyone's like, what the fuck? (laughs) You're you're Clark Kent. (laughs) Oh my God. He's like, no, I'm just wearing... (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, it's just, I'm nearsighted. Or no. if Superman wants to wear glasses, he has to put on like really funny glasses, <laughs> like crazy cat lady glasses, because he can't wear normal oh, glasses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Here's an awesome idea. Mm-hmm. So you know how people don't know, so when, when Superman wears glasses, they think he's Clark Kent? Yeah. What if every time, what, what if there's another, a third secret identity? It's just Superman wearing sunglasses. When Superman puts on glasses, he's Clark Kent. Yeah. But when he puts on sunglasses, he's Chad. He's, yeah, Chad <laughs> Huge cock. <laughs> no, 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 Chad Coxworth. Yeah, he's just a huge piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a superpower. He's just a guy that wears fairies. That's a huge cunt. Like that's his whole that's thing. His other alter- his, yeah. his, his his other secret identity. Yeah. Chad Coxworth. Yeah, he's like there's a lot of different types of and crime. He gets pussy. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of different crime in this world, and sometimes it takes a takes a reporter. Sometimes it takes Superman. Sometimes it takes a huge Huge <laughs> Chad <laughs> <Cox> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's like a, somebody at a club being uncool and Superman can't handle it and Clark Kent's too nerdy and then Chad Coxworth <laughs> comes in and he's like, bro. And the guy's like, you know what? All right. <laughs> This has been another adventure of Chad Coxworth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The adventure is like yeah, a frat trying guy. to get cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> a frat guy is about to fuck a girl that another frat guy called dibs on. And the only person that can solve this is Chad's Coxworth. Yeah, he's, he is Clark Kent. And he does this and it's Superman. But then he does this again <laughs> and it's a button up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pink polo. Yeah. <laughs> You know the movie Her? What if you bought a new iPhone and it was doing the Her stuff, but you were not... It was like pretty much the same movie, but you as the person aren't into it at all. You know how there's like voice... Like, you know how when you have a voice like mm-hmm. an Alexa, you can change the voice to a yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if it's the movie Her, but he, someone changes the voice to a man and Joaquin Phoenix is like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, ew! And he's <laughs> it's like, it's me, Samantha. He's like, what the fuck? I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah. You sounded so hot. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? You know that one? <laughs> yeah, you know the scene where they put all the little mics or the little things all over that woman's body yeah, yeah. um they change the voice and then a, it's a man he's like oh i just got something that would match the voice <laughs> he's like no dude, i don't, I don't think dude, I like, he's gotta like kiss oh, what if he didn't what if the voice wasn't changed she just was like this is the body i thought would be i most. just found one i didn't realize it mattered <laughs> yeah. i don't understand your human sexuality he's like she's like it's not about the body it's me it's my it's it's, it's my voice and my brain she's like yeah, yeah you but, love me on an intellectual level yeah. he's like i stand it <laughs> yeah okay yeah i i I guess if it's the- someone who's like so fat <laughs> god damn it that was what i was trying to avoid i knew that was coming and the woman who's the actor keeps like saying stuff that the ai doesn't it's like let's go to the library and the actor's like let's go get pizza <laughs> <laughs> woman's pizza. she wants to experience pizza for the first time do you think that's what do you think that's what fat people are like tommy wants pizza <laughs> You think that's what fat people are like? Jesus, that's <laughs> offensive. But my question is, what if it's the movie Her, but you aren't into it at all? You keep getting calls and it's just your phone again. I hey, bre- and, God damn it. it. It calls you at night and it's just breathing heavy. You're like, oh, God damn it again. Now you don't even breathe. Why are you doing that? <laughs> now do you let your phone down easy? You're like, I don't want to fuck you. You're my cell phone. That's tough. I think I may just fuck my cell phone. Oh, my God. Do you think you could factory reset it? Go what if it crime? says factory reset, but that's its like G spot? It's just like, You oh. click it and you just hear the phone and be like, fuck. <laughs> you're like, oh man, I'd be really worried. Wait, bring that stylus back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would worry about every kind of any kind of touch to it being sexual. Like oh, I don't, I don't know what. Type in your password. Yeah, it's, it's just like, oh, get yeah, get the seven. Your your phone suggests a password, and it's just the bottom center, like crotch <laughs> of the phone. Fu- yeah, it's yeah. like mm. do, 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 yeah. It just keeps you can type stuff in it. It keeps suggesting seven. Like seven do, do, isn't do, in the past. Do, 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 And then you like think it's gonna turn on, and the phone just goes to sleep. Man, you're like. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. It turns on for like one second and it's like crazy, like 300% brightness and mm-hmm. it just goes to sleep mm-hmm. for like 15 minutes mm-hmm. and it's like, whoo, yeah. what you want? Suicide by firefighter. How would you do it? <laughs> you run into a fire station <laughs> <laughs> just with like a lighter. <laughs> Just take the axe and do just it! slam it Do it! Do it! Put me out! Put me out of my misery! <laughs> Please! Oh, I imagine they run up with, like, the firefighter axe and just slam it into you. <laughs> this is how you fight You think fires? they just hose you off? No. I think I would paint myself like a fire. And, and act would, like a fire? Oh, yeah. You'd, you'd come in like... <laughs> something like that. And then I would do that hot breath thing, like... <sighs> 
<laughs> and they do the hose, it's not working, and then they get the axe. <laughs> yeah, they, they start hosing. <laughs> Could you imagine if all if every time the firefighters <laughs> went to go uh, stop a fire, everyone came in with hoses and stuff, and then like one guy just comes in with a fucking axe, just like I got it, guys, and like I don't I don't get how that's gonna stop the fire. It's like I'll get it. I used to have a bit about that. What was the bit? Oh, oh, the bit was that what if the axe the ho- what if the hoses are for the fire and then the axe is for the arsonist? And you're like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like they just see a guy like sneaking away and the firefighter's like, uh-uh. Like <laughs> 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 an axism. <laughs> Today, eight people died yeah. as they were trying to leave a fire. <laughs> God damn it. We need more physical comedy on the podcast. Oh, you hit me in the nuts. <laughs> End the pod. The, we're done. Podcast done. Episode 20 fucking comedy. nine, dude. <laughs> Episode 29. <laughs> Episode 20. Um, Episode 29. Uh, All right. Hypothetically, episode 29. We're going to start a Patreon. (laughs)